Hello and welcome to Mail Store Tech Tips. My name is D, and today I'd like to show you how you can use Mail Store Server to restore or export your archived emails. Mail Store Server not only lets you archive your emails, it provides you with various ways to restore or export them. So, Mail Store Server isn't a one way street. You can restore individual emails, hold folders, or even your entire collection of archived emails from the archive in a single step and in standard formats. First, I'll show you the different ways to restore emails. The method used by most people is definitely the restore using the Outlook add-in. Here, you can use the quick search function or browse your folder structure to locate emails. Then click on restore message and drag and drop them into any folder in order to restore them. This can be a folder in your mailbox, on your hard drive, or on your desktop. By this means, any users authorized to log into MailStore Server can restore emails by themselves without having to contact an IT administrator. The second method uses MailStore Web Access. Here too, users can restore emails by themselves, then send them to any email address. The important thing here is that your IT administrator needs to configure the SMTP settings, as shown here, so that MailStore can connect with an SMTP server. The third restore method is via MailStore Client. If users are authorized only to log into MailStore server, they can either save or open individual emails. In this case, after clicking on Email Client, they decide whether they want to use the program to open the email or export it to the IMAP mailbox. In addition to restore, any user can be granted the additional privilege of exporting emails. Here, the mail store administrator can decide whether the user should have unrestricted rights to export emails or just to execute or manage existing profiles. If users are granted unrestricted rights, they can select several emails from the folder structure or from the search results and then export them directly with a right click. Entire folders, including all the subfolders, can be exported in this way. You can also add a cryptographic signature to your exported emails in order to protect them against tampering outside the archive. This way it can be shown that the exported emails correspond to their original in every respect and have not been modified in any way. You can even export the results of a saved search query with a right click of the mouse. Or you can create an export profile and choose which folder you want to export. If you decide to run the export function via the mail store client, you will also be presented with the option retain folder structure. If you keep this box checked, mail store will create a folder with the name mail store export at your chosen export destination. In this folder, you will find all your exported emails in exactly the same structure as in your archive. But if, for example, you are searching for emails that you suspect are spread around different folders and want to export all of them to the same destination folder, then you should uncheck the box. By this means, you could, for example, collectively export all emails belonging to a certain project. We've now come to the end of the tech tip. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you again soon.